Assalamu alaikum students today we will study how to apply the secant method in MATLAB and how to find uh, how to uh, utilize the algorithm of secant method in MATLAB so the basic concept of secant method is you use you have just function and you and the tolerance and you use the two initial approximations so generally the two initial approximations are given and you use the secant iterative formula to get the root uh, you know that the secant method requires one or two more iterations then. Um, roughly one or two more, more iterations than the Newton's method but the secant formula and the method is just like same and its programmer is just very similar to the Newton's method so we start declaring our function we uh, use the function and then its output is a uh, root mod modified values of x so x is the root x is a string value and again i name it as a secant whatever you want to name it just save it by the, that same name and uh, same uh, capital or small letters and here in this parenthesis you require all the inputs you want to give so i give it a function in this it is it has a benefit that you don't require any kind of derivative and derivative this uh, secant method and only require two initial approximations so i write it directly the initial approximation first initial approximation is x naught and the second initial approximation i name it as x1 x naught x1 is a constant here and then we use uh, in these two constants in an iterative formula and then tolerance you want to give it tolerance because by default MATLAB calculates up to four decimal places digits but if you want more decimal places or digits then you write in the line number one format long and then in the second line you declare the function so um, here the number of iterations you want to give so now your function is declared and we move further so first one is uh, function and function uh, so so first step is uh, to declare that uh, x is a string value so it is a variable character x because you have to update the values of x here okay and then uh, all the inputs so function i use it uh, use the function that we have done in the um, class or in the theory class that is let it be uh, 2 um, x square minus 2 x minus 1 I guess that was the function x square minus 2 into x minus 1 okay and um, then uh, what is x naught and x2 x naught is uh, 2.6 and x1 is 2.5 and number of iterations, iterations you want to give I will give it 8 to 9 are enough for me okay and then um, okay so first is how to utilize these two initial approximations for the next iteration so you know that it is um, for x naught and x uh, x naught is the first value x1 is this. so you you require x of 2 and then you will start with this uh, iterative formula so uh, fix i equals to 2 and x of 2 is equal to 2 is the index starting index and you utilize these two formulas and that formula is i forgot the uh, iterative formula x1 minus uh, use the brackets carefully because it calculates f of x1 um, multiply by the difference in the two consecutive iterations x1 and x0 okay divided by bracket f of x1 minus f of x naught okay so it's to be divided you can use brackets here you close the brackets here and it, it is a formula so oh now you can use this in an iterative formula you can also use the while loop you can also use the for loop so y i is less than equal to n just same just like a newton's formula now n is small here but you declared it capital so be sure about that now um, we use here the central difference formula that is at x i and x i minus 1 and x i plus 1 through x of i minus 1 you 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 calculate x i 
x of i and x of i plus 1. I will tell you the basic logic behind that. So for x of i plus 1, because it is the next point and you use the two previous points. So x of i minus f of x of i multiplied by x of i minus x of i minus 1 divided by f of x of i minus f of x of i minus 1 uh, if I'm not wrong, I will check its value because we have done it, done, done this question in the um, quiz or example. So now update the value i equals to i plus 1. Because of that, um, there is a logic i plus 1 and then end and then end for function. Okay. There is a logic because uh, x of 2 means that uh, x of 2 is calculated, but uh, we need x of 1 also we need x of 1 and all that so i minus 1 uses this x of 2 2 minus 1 and then the central difference formula so okay i got the mistake i was uh, i had in the line number 10 i had the unbalanced parenthesis in here we have started with the bracket and we haven't enclosed this with the bracket so that i got the got the mistake here and then if i correct the mistake here if i run this program then it will display its answer and that answer is you displayed here 2.9 9194 uh, uh, 4194 and second will be 2.03 eight four six and two point four one four two and two point four one four two so you can check it and you can verify it by your own self so this is the second method i hope that you understand this lecture thank you so much